Hello, this is Mr. Wolf again, and today I want to do something called um, Picture Walk Wednesday. I've never tried it before. I thought it might be something fun to do. One of the things I've always enjoyed doing with my class, um, especially when I taught younger grades, was do a picture walk. Now, you might be wondering what a picture walk is. A picture walk is when you literally just take a walk, do a book, look at the pictures, don't worry about the words yet. Try to figure out what the story is going to be about and if it might be something that you're interested in or curious about. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to take a look at this book, Dancing Hands, How Teresa Carino Played the Piano for President Lincoln. Now, this story got my attention. Look at what's happening. It's a, I see somebody playing a piano. Now, it says for President Lincoln, but I, I don't see the president there. Um, but I do see lots of flowers. That makes me think it might be something beautiful that she's playing. And I also look at the picture and I see, look at her. That's not a grown up. I wonder how old Teresa is. Let's see if we can get some clues in the book. Okay, I still don't see President Lincoln, but I do look out the window. I wonder if that is anywhere in the United States or if that is somewhere else. What do you think? I wonder if that's that same little girl. And there she is playing the piano again. Look right there. Look what happens. I wonder what that means. What do you think it means when you see the key, the, the piano kind of going up in the air and turning into birds? What does that make you think of? It's interesting. And again, I still don't see the president, but I do look. It looks like she's writing something. I wonder what she's writing. She looks happy. Do you think she looks happy? Okay, now this does not match the last picture at all, does it? I see a storm. It does not look happy. Look up there. I wonder what's happening there. I wonder what's happening to the girl. If I look down here in the water, look what I just noticed. Oh my gosh, look at her face tells me something sad might be going on. It looks like they may have gone somewhere. How do you think she's feeling? Look at that close up in the picture. Do you think she's happy, sad, scared? What do you think? I'm wondering what he's thinking. He looks kind of shocked. Like, what are you doing here? Oh, again. This reminds me of that picture of a couple of pages ago when I saw the houses on fire. I see smoke up here and I see people with guns and they're aiming at each other. Surely that couldn't be a good thing. But look, now we're back. And I wonder how she feels. I'm wondering, it looks like it's making somebody happy. And again, when she's at the piano, things seem to change into something beautiful. I wonder if that's giving us a little message there. When she plays the piano, something beautiful happens. People are putting up signs. People are looking at them. If I look at that sign, I see her name. Oh, and the sign says she's eight years old. She is a little girl. Hmm. Now it looks like she's gone somewhere again. That is definitely not where we saw a few minutes ago. Where do you think she is? Why do you think she's there? I wonder. Oh, and she's back. And there's those men with guns again. Some people look sad. 
What do you think's happening? I think I finally see the White House. And you know what? This is the first time in the story I've seen President Lincoln. Look, he's up there. But look at how he looks. What, how do you think he's feeling in that picture? I wonder, and even look at her face. That makes me think something sad might be happening. Oh, but there she is now. And she's in the house with, that's, that's President Lincoln. I know it's President Lincoln because of the hat. People always used to say he wore a tall hat. So I wonder, and look at her. She doesn't look afraid or upset, but she does look kind of surprised. Like maybe she's intimidated. Like, who is this man? He's the president and I'm just a little girl. I don't know. She looks nervous to me. And look, and I see that picture right there. She still looks nervous. He doesn't look nervous, though. I wonder what he's saying to her. Do you think he's trying to encourage her to, to try something or do, or do well? Maybe he's trying to say some nice things to her. But she's playing the piano again. And all those beautiful things are happening again. But... I wonder how he feels after he listens to the music. And you know what? I'm not going to show you. You're going to have to find out how the book ends. Dancing Hands. It's by Margarita Engel and illustrated by Raphael Lopez. Give it a try. See if your library has it.